Hey, what's up guys? This is Kangsta. Today I'm here out in the Alaska wilderness and I have a special guest today. His name is Caribou Caleb. What up Alaskans? Caribou Caleb here. And uh, I'll link his YouTube channel below. And so he's out here with me today and he brought something very interesting and formidable. Very interesting and very formidable. Yeah, let's check it out, shall we? It's not my Batman utility belt, but it's <laughs> the next best thing. All right. It is 500 Smith and Wesson Magnum indeed. The biggest handgun you can get on the market. Even bigger than your 50 Desert Eagle. Really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Surprise. Here we have, it can hold five shots. And just look how thick that steel is. It's that thick because the recoil is so bad that if it were, if it were thinner, it probably gonna probably just fall apart. I lose this part. Here you have this heavy action. That is, it's not too bad on the, it's not too bad on the thumb, but still pretty powerful. Cool. So, um, can I say something? So, basically, for me. I, I, you know, you know me already. I was ex-military. I'm more familiar with M9, Beretta, nine millimeters, and whatnot. How does that compare to that one that you are holding? Well, the nine millimeter compared to the nine millimeter compared to 500 Smith and Wesson is like comparing a little bitty acorn <laughs> to a great big pine tree. Jesus, like a squirrel to a bear. Wow. Nothing wrong with nine millimeter, of course. It's a great gun used by cops and self-defense and there's a lot of advantages to a nine mil over the 500 smith and wesson but the night the this thing of the 500 smith and wesson has so much power nine mil not as much in, as comparison okay thank you so do you mind if i hold it just Absolutely. to see how heavy it is wow it's heavy <laughs> it is pretty heavy it's like holding how do you say like seven pound eight pound dumbbell in one one hand pretty heavy I'm yeah sure it's pretty that. heavy and since right here springfield massachusetts smith and lesson here you go and then i guess that's the cartridge yes this is the bullet yeah it's pretty big i have killed a wild boar with this weapon the thing probably weighed 170 pounds like with the one round, it would only take one round to one kill. Shot. It? Jesus! Oh, he was running too, you know, thirty yards. I saw a video once where this very cartridge dropped a grizzly. I mean, obviously it's not as big as fifty cal, but it's still formidable, definitely, Absolutely. for a handgun size. Wow. I mean, you know, I'm not. We don't want to hurt anybody, any like bear or anything, but I guess this is more like a last resort stuff, right? It's self-defense. Self-defense, got if it. If the bear is charging you and he's going to kill you, our humans are much more important than the animals. True. Like I said, everybody, this is just for educational or self-defense purpose. We're not doing anything with it. Um, so it's about, what, seven inch in length? Yeah. Just the barrel, seven inch. This part right here is four inches. Yeah, four inch. So and this the whole would probably thing. be about maybe five inches. So it would be like nine inch. Maybe about nine inches. Mm -hmm. And that's not excluding the handle. Handle, it seems like handle is made out of rubber, right? Just to observe the shock yeah. from the recoil. I yeah, guess. it has rubber all around it to help your hand better. Cool. It's so powerful. I've heard of at least one guy. He bought this gun in a box of... 50 bullets he returned the gun with a box of 49 bullets okay so <laughs> let's show people what it's like showing at the the site like that right so you'll be looking at the uh get it lined up yeah there it is so the recoil will be like boom oh yeah big old blast cool so be blasting off again if it were not for this rubber handle Mm hmm so <laughs> hey caleb thank you for bringing that out you know it was just for safety purpose it's my 
out here in Alaska. Um, again, his name is uh, Caribou Caleb. I'll link his channel below. Check him out. He's really cool. Yeah. And thanks for watching, guys. Again. Much appreciated. Mm-hmm.